this is Info Puppet, and we're gonna talk about text, special effects, and watermarks. You're gonna love my next Photoshop Elements tutorial. Alright, so Photoshop Elements is open up and this is our image we'll be working on. We're selecting the text tool. And let's go up here and select the drop down color selector and we'll select more colors. There's a box that opens up. Now look, I'm just using the eyedropper that you automatically get. And I want the color to be the same as his jeans. And right now we're just going to type Design by Info Puppet. Now you can put your website on there or whatever you want to put. And I just selected the move tool. Real important, the rest is not going to work if you don't select the move tool. Here's filters. And we're going to switch to layer styles. Okay, now let's go over here and check out this drop down box. Bevels, glass buttons, image effects, inner glows, outer glows, strokes, visibility, wow, chrome, wow, neon, well, wow, let, let's check out wow, neon. Love this. I'm dragging this over here and dropping it onto the text. And look at that. Isn't it so cool? Okay, let's try this uh, light blue one over here. I'm left clicking, holding and dragging and dropping it on the text and bam. I love it. Okay, and there's your neon. So now we're gonna change this up a little bit and we're gonna go up to bevels. Okay, and I'm gonna just select this one and drag it. Left click, hold and drag and drop it. And that's a nice little bevel there. But let's try this one right here. Left clicking, holding and dragging and dropping it in. I like that one. I'm gonna keep it. Okay, now we're gonna switch back to filters. And I'm going to go ahead and select this filter here. Now something different will happen with filters. Watch what's going to happen. You're going to get this window. Oh no, what's this window say? This type layer must be simplified before proceeding. Its text will no longer be edible. Oh, what do I do? What do I do? Just click OK. Look at that. Isn't that awesome? Now it said the text won't no longer be edible, but I could just hit Command Z or Control Z and uh, go back. Okay, there we are again. I'm clicking OK, and look at that! I love it. Okay, we're gonna try another one here, and uh, again, I hit the box, and that is saran wrap or paper wrap or plastic wrap, that one's called. Now I'm combining effects now. I just took another one over. That's kind of cool! All right. Let's go back over here, and I think what we're going to do is we're going to move this image over, and I'm going to move, go to the drop down and select brush. No, no, not pixel line render, sharpen, sketch. Let's go to textures. Yeah, textures. Now I'm going to grab this texture and left click, hold, and drag, and then select OK. And look at that! That is so awesome! Now I'm going to go to Stylize, and I'm just going to select the Emboss one here. Left click, hold, and drag. And I think I'm going to like this one for my watermark. So to do a watermark, what you're going to do is go to Opacity and change it to like 39%. And that's your watermark. And uh, there you go. That looks so cool. All right. So that's basically it. Hope you like the video, watermarks, and special text effects. Thanks for watching from Info Puppet.